my name is Serena, and in today's video, we're going to be wrapping up the month of September. So we're going to do a Sinking Funds update, and I'm not going to do a condensing. Um, we just don't need it as much, but I will at the end of October. So that will probably probably be a big one because we have, we're stuffing a lot of fives in categories. So that would be very fun, but... For this month, we will not, but we will be doing a update on our funds so we can know how much money we have and um, what my net worth is. So before I get started, I want to unstuff my wallet since I need to do that before the cash stuffing. So I'll go ahead and unstuff um, the like the money. I'll leave the ones and the coins in there, and I'll do that in my cash stuffing video but for this video i need to redistribute redistribute some money that i did not spend for the week so i did switch out my wallets if you can tell i've had this wallet for a while so it is dirty but i love this one and i'm going to be using this from now on and when i go on trips like they're about you know a few days or a week I will use my Mo term for trips and then something else, a different wallet for every day. It was just too big and I didn't use it all that much. So I think it's better to use the Mo term for like bigger trips. So I will be using different a different wallet um, for like day to day. So I decided to use this one. So you haven't seen this one, but. I'm keeping my receipts here, my cards here, coins, and then I made these the other day. So I'll pull them out so I can show you. So I have the normal stuff, which is my spending. These are the tabs, so I can like stuff them like that, and they're easy to just, you know, pull away and grab the money. And then we have spending, food, snacks, fun, miscellaneous. And then I have a dollar saving challenge. So any dollars I'll put behind there. So I guess we can do that. So for spending, I spent everything. So I don't have my 10. But for food, we didn't spend any money, I don't think. I think we still have 50. 20, 40, 45, 50. So we have 50 extra dollars that I can put somewhere. I guess I can separate it. Um, snacks, we have $5 left, so we can put that somewhere. Fun money, I didn't spend either, so I have a five for that. And then miscellaneous, I have the five from that as well, so I can put that somewhere else. And if you're wondering where my giving money is it's right here so i'm gonna go back to this one um just so it's separate and it's up here so i can just pull and give easier and yeah so that's gonna be my wallet from now on and those are my ones so i think i'll like this so that's that and now i'm gonna decide where i want to put this money before I do the update. So I'm gonna go to my purple binder. Um, I'm not gonna do gas because we stuff that every single week, but I will put some money in groceries. Uh, let's see, maybe a 20. Yeah, I'll do a 20. So now I have 50, so 20, 40, 50, which is pretty good. I'm not going to count it because we're about to count it in my update. <laughs> well, I do 20 in there. Uh, Starbucks. I will do two five, so we'll do $10 in Starbucks. Uh, eating out. I could, I'll give some money. Maybe $10 as well, maybe. I might have to switch out that 20 so I can put some elsewhere. And then buffer has five, so I'll keep that as is. 
So now we can go into my sinking funds or my cash envelopes. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to do moving. We stuff that every single week. Essentials. Let's do. Huh. I want to do 15. So what I'm going to do is pull out this five and put in this 20. So we put 15 in there because we do, um, I do need to bulk this up a little bit. I'm not going to do clothes or self care or date nights or household. Um, let's see. I'll put five in buffer because we'll take those ones out and then I'll put five in books. Um, yeah. And then I'll put five in books. So that is what I'm going to do with the extra money, which is fun. And then also before we get started, I know this is a long intro, but <laughs> I'm going to go into my bills binder because we're going to actually condense this one. This is the only one we're going to condense just because there is a lot in here. So what I like to do is unstuff all of my bills and put them all in my one month ahead envelope. So phone should have 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120. So that is good to go. Apple should have 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. That one's good to go. Cricut should also have 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Kindle Unlimited should have 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Instant Ink should have 20. 10, 15, 20. And then car insurance, car ins, can I speak? Car insurance should have 120. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120. We do have some leftover money that we did not spend for bills, which is 25. So this is going to go into my one month ahead fund. Uh, I, let me do that first because I'm not going to condense it out. So we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to be doing Cricut because YouTube Premium is fully funded already. So that is Cricut. Okay. And then this. Uh, we'll see how much this is. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 300, 305, 10, 15, and 320. So one month ahead has... Oops, 320, so that was plus 20, and I'm going to condense this, I'm going to use my back to bank money, so we have 1, 2, and then we'll just do 20, so... 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20. So this should be 200. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. Yeah. 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 200. So that is 
Good to go. Just putting this money in here. Alright, so, 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 320, and one month ahead, which is everything I need for all of my bills for October. So, we're set for October bills. Then, we're going to do yearly bills. So, YouTube Premium has... 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, and 150. So 150 for YouTube Premium. So that's fully funded. And Cricut has 20, 40, 45, 50. So we have 200 altogether. Two hundred. So that was plus 125 okay and that's it for this binder next is my purple binder gas has 50 60 and 70 So that was plus 70 because we drained it last month. We have some now. Groceries now has 20, 40, 50. So that was plus 50. Starbucks has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, 30 for Starbucks. I think this is the most I've ever had, except for that one time I had 200, but that went by so fast. So that is plus 20. Eating out has 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Also, haven't had that much in here in eating out. So that's plus 30. And then Buffer just has a 5. Oh, Giving has nothing, so there was no change there. And Buffer went up by $5. So all of those went up, which is amazing. And now I'm going to go into my cash envelopes, but first I'm going to get a sip of water because my mouth is getting dry and I have this cute little glass bottle that I got for like a dollar because it was on sale at um, Walgreens where I work. So that was a good deal. It is glass though, so I hope I don't drop it. One goal of mine for... Um, October is to drink more water. I don't drink a lot of water, but I need to, so I'm going to try to drink more water. That's one of my goals. Okay, so, um, moving, where's moving at? Okay, moving is my loft bed, which is right here. So I have to, my things were switched up this month because I switched out. And took out some envelopes, so I'm just going to move around a little bit. But this one is for my loft bed, and we now have 500, 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So 650. So that was plus $50. And this one. $50. 
And then we have Essentials, which is up here. We have just 20 in there. So that was plus 20. We'll move that out the way. Clothes has 20. And there's no change there. Self-care, I believe, just has 20. Yes. So that went up by 15. Date nights just has five. So no change there. Household has five. So that went up by five. I don't want to jinx anything, but most of these are going up. I don't think I've seen one go down. <laughs> Finger cross, I don't give my hopes up, but so far, so good. Books has 10. So $10. So that, oh, oops. So that went up by 10. Now, these ones here, I no longer have if they have a red mark. So, I guess technically, it did go down. So, I'm going to say it went down. Just so maybe my numbers are right. But, I don't know. Where is shopping at? Did I? Oh. Shopping is zero and there was no change. Hobbies has just five. So that went up by five. Sick days just has five. Where's that one at? I feel like I'm skipping it. Oh, it's over here. And there was no change there. Extra pay has nothing, so no change there. Uh, Serena, we do not count, so there's no change there. Organizing, um, down 10 because we don't have that one, or video games, so minus 10. BTS, we don't have any more, so minus 5. Going out, no change. Nails. Oh, we don't have nails either. I just moved that to self-care, so that technically went down by 5. Haircuts went down by 5, technically, because we don't have that anymore. And then buffer has five because I will get rid of those ones. So that went up by five. And then these both have zero. So no change in school tuition or school supplies. Next up is my high priority seeking funds which I have my emergency. So emergency has 1,000 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. So we have 1,100, so that went up by 100. My car, we did take out car insurance. So now I would just have three double-sided envelopes again. So there's that. When we take money to the bank, I will need to take tag back because it'll be a whole nother year before I need that. So we'll take that to the bank, but that will be at the end of next month. So my car tag has 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. So that's fully funded. Car accessories has nothing. Oil change has 5065. Because we just got an oil change, so I'll need to get that back up to its 100 to be fully funded. Car maintenance is at zero. Car repairs is at 500. And my emergency fund has 
500, 600, 700, 800 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 900. And the goal for that one is 1,000. Once we reach 1,000 for emergency fund, I'm going to, uh, I think go back to repairs, get that to 1,000. And then after I get a thousand to repairs, we'll move on to car maintenance and then accessories. And then if I finish all of the, all of that, I can move on to maybe a new car. But until then, we're gonna be stuffing these envelopes. So all together, I have one thousand five hundred and sixty-five dollars. So that went up by sixty-five, which isn't too bad. I'm not going to count all of these because they're all the same, all three of these. So, medical, savings, and Roth IRA all have 100, 120, 125, 130, 135, and 140. So, 140 for all three. So, they all went up by $20 this month. Next, we have moving, which is a new envelope. So that is down here. So I'll count this. This one needs the condensing, but we'll just have to wait. So for moving fees, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. So $35 for moving fees. My bills has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. Needs has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Moving supplies has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Decorations has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Furniture. Has 5, 10, 15, 16, and 17. And lastly, miscellaneous. Has 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, all together in moving, I have $131. The ultimate goal is 3000 So we have a long way to go. But we'll get there eventually. So 131 we went up by. And then lastly, for this binder, we have electronics, which I have 160. So that went up by $10 this month. I'm going to try to make this more of a priority to me. Um, but with moving and my 100 envelope challenge, it's a little bit hard to have a little bit extra money to put in there. Next up are these. So first we have birthdays. And I have 20, 40, 60, 80. So $80 for birthdays. So that went up by 80. Um, I did do a no spin challenge for this month, for the month of September. So I'll show you how much I spent and where I spend my money at the end of the video. Christmas, we have $250 for my boyfriend, $100 for mom, $100 for dad, $100 for my um, one of my brothers, and then my other brother, I have 20, 40, 45, 50. 
So I have 600 for Christmas, so that went up by $100. Which is not too bad. And Christmas is coming up very, very soon. So I'm glad I have money saved for that. Halloween's fully funded with 50. And Thanksgiving has 10, 20, 30, and 40. So we have 90 altogether, which means we went up by $40 this month. pretty good. Travel. I have 50, 55, 60, 60, 162, 3, 4, 5. So $65 for travel. So that went up by $15. Budgeting supplies, we have just five. So no change there. And then furniture has 10. So that went up by five. And then we got rid of my future me binder. So nothing in that one. All right, so now I'm going to add all of this up to give me the total, and then I will be right back after I do all of that. All right, so now we have 5,676 dollars. So that is a big jump from that, almost a thousand dollar jump, which is crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug that into this page, which we have my assets, assets, which my car is worth on Credit Karma, so it's not 100%, but you know, it gives me an estimate at least. So we have 5,075, and then for my sinking funds, I have. $5,676. So if we add that to my car, in total, I have, okay, $10,751, which is crazy. 10K. 10K. That's pretty good. And we have no liability, so I don't owe anybody any kind of money. Don't owe debt, student loans, nothing. So, all of this will be what we actually have for my net worth, which is awesome. I knew we were going to do it this month. I just had a feeling. So, if we take that minus 9760, which we had last month, which means we added 900 and $91. So almost, we're $9 short from adding a 1000 So that's pretty good. I am happy with that. And we actually did, you know, have more than that. Um, I just put it in the 100 envelope challenge and we don't count that. So it's kind of saying that we spend that money that we put in the 100 envelope challenge, but we didn't. So it actually did add up more than that, but we're not going to count it because I want to see that jump when we actually finish the challenge. That's going to be exciting. So, now that we've got that, I will go into my month, which I will just find on here. Well, I can show you this. So, I made like a little, I guess, page here. Don't mind my bad handwriting, <laughs> but I made this month $2,251.86, 
and I spent this month $841.24. So that is a difference of $1,410.62. But some of that did go to the 100 envelope challenge, so don't forget that. So I spent $273.19 on bills, which is going to be about the same every single month. Um, for food and snacks, about one twenty five ninety six for the month. Gas, I only spent one hundred one forty. So, about twenty five a week if you do it like that, which is pretty good. Um, my car, I had to pay for my car tag, my car title, um, a late fee for my car tag because I paid it late, and also an oil change. So all of that is into that. So every single month I don't really pay this, but. You know, we had all this stuff happen at once. So, eighty-eight seventy-eight. Um, I spent on myself. So, if I spent, you know, I got some notebooks. I think um, some items that were on sale. Uh, whatever I spent on me was two hundred forty-six and seventy-four. That also includes these nails. So, that was like ninety dollars. So that's most of that. And then needs, which is five seventeen, which was um, some personal items. So. That's why there's just one item on there. Um, and yeah. I don't know if you can see this too well, but this was kind of my grid. So every single day I went through and I um, did what I spent. So I had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So only ten no-spend days, which is pretty good for me. So I'm happy with that. And some of those were also days bills came out or like gas or like things I needed to pay for. So, you know, I take that very well. So that is that. And I also did every single month or every single week. Sorry. So week one, I spent $144.17. Week two, which is when most of my bills came out. I spent $526.14. Car insurance and phone were a big part, and also my nails. So, there's that. Week three and week four were less spending. So, I only spent $86.04 on week three, and week four, $84.89. So, that is pretty good. So, I call this month a success. We almost added over $1,000 to my singing fund. So, I think that's good. So, I really don't have any complaints about this month. Um, I like this. Hopefully, we can keep up with this. But yeah, I think that's it for my Singing Funds update. I hope you stay tuned for my next video, which will be, my, which will be me cash stuffing for the first week in October. So, I hope you stay tuned for then. And I hope to see you there. If you like this video, please give me a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.